Tuesday is Choose English Day. From 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m., join your equipped and efficient elementary English tutors as they bring fun and exciting learning in the world of English. Let us help make your educational journey in English easier and simpler. Every Tuesday, 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. Only here at Kitulai official Facebook page and YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulai, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information, and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello! Hello, hello! Good afternoon, everyone! Yes, I would like to greet our tutees for this afternoon. Faye, Paolo, Perry, and Calextero. Hello! Yes, over there. And Maria, Janihel, Estala. Thank you so much. A lovely afternoon to all of you amazing kids. And Enrico de Lupin. Hi, hi, hi. Martin Angel, Dave Nagumpreza. Also, we have Paula again for the comment and smiley face. Okay, what a wonderful afternoon today. And I am here again, your tutor Joni. And we will have, of course, tutor Emmy in a while. Okay, also, Angel Julian Leonardo and Shai Mazet. Good afternoon, Lian Galang. Shania Vinice from SSES Pinaud CS San Ildefonso South. Good afternoon, Senor. And for those that I haven't seen yet, you can comment there so I can see your names. Okay. So we are here. It's another Tuesday. Tuesday, right? <laughs> because we love English and English is fun. Okay. So let's start right away for our. Yes, lesson. Here we go. Yes, good afternoon. Okay, so we have here, yeah, English 5 every Tuesday, as you know, same, same time slot, 3.40 to 4.20 p.m. with me, of course, and you can watch us in four different channels from two in Facebook and two in YouTube channels. Yes, Deped EdTech Unit, Deped Tayo, and Deped Educational Tech Unit, and Deped TV. Okay, so next. Right, as you can see there, quarter two, week two, Natayo. Distinguished text types according to purpose and features. Have you remembered that last time, our week one, we also have this? competency that's right this is a continuation for week one and two we have the same competency as you can see here right there you go we have a check mark distinguishing text types okay and we would like to thank our yeah source our resources for this afternoon yes for uh english we have from the DepEd Central Office, DLR. Okay, thank you so much. And are you ready? Yes, 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 ready. Okay, so let's review from the last week. Of course, our competency distinguishing text types according to purpose and features. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you send me a thumbs up? All right, have you remembered? Yes, thank you so much, Aubrey Madison, watching from 
The same. Thank you for the hearts, Faye. Ayan, they are still listening. Active, uh, Steven Carl also. All right, so we have here. Okay, so when you say it is a text that arranges. Mm -hmm. A text that arranges, so I want you to read the given descriptions and identify the described text type. Okay, so be ready. So we have enumeration. Okay, just a review. We have time order. Third one is explanation. And fourth is classification. Okay, so I want you to identify these descriptions. A text that arranges or, or sort ideas, things into groups with common characteristics. What is that? Thank you for the thumbs up. And second, we have it tells you why and how something happens. It provides information based on science and facts. What is that? Hmm. Okay, it's time for you to review your notes. And the third one, a text type that supports the main idea by listing examples. Mm -hmm. Illustrations like characteristics, attributes, or descriptions, and others. And the last one, we have a text type that shows procedure or process. It tells a step-by-step -step process, okay? Now you can arrange your answers there. Yeah, in order so that I can identify if it's correct or not. Yes? So you can choose from the four different types. Okay, let's reveal. Are you ready? Yes, you have classification, as you, as you remember, explanation, time order, and enumeration. We have four choices. Text types. Okay, do you have your answers? Okay. Let's reveal the answers now. There you go. For enumeration. Time order, explanation, and classification. That's your choices. And let's check the answer. There you go. Okay. So enumeration is the third one. A text type that supports the main idea by listing examples, right? Or illustrations like characteristics, attributes, and descriptions or others. Correct? When you say time order, it is a text type that shows a procedure or process, right? In order. It tells you a step-by-step -step process. Correct. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. So this is just a review to this. When you say explanation, it tells why and how something happens, right? And it provides information based on science and facts. Do you remember? Okay, and we also have, do you remember our habitat, our lesson from last week? And also we have classification. It means a text that arranges or sort ideas, things into groups with common characteristics. All right. Okay, did you have the correct answers? There, Oppo from... Martin and Leon and Shaima Zen. Okay, so for today, this is our objectives. So today, for our week two, you're going to identify text types according to purpose and features. And for the second objective, we have to analyze the text type by looking for some clues okay we have to find clues very good and now we have this one identify what text types is given in the paragraph below by completing the puzzle okay i know you love puzzle okay so i want you to find clues okay and then you may have your idea on how many boxes you have for the puzzle okay so identify what text types is this okay i'll read it for you my first experience in cooking rice was funny 
I remember putting four cups of rice in a calderon or caldero and completely filling it in with water. Then I left to play outside. When I remember about what I was cooking about an hour later, I was shocked to see and smell something strange in the kitchen. <laughs> so what happened in there? This is the first, the second. So you have, what is that? Okay, you can type in your answers there. You comment down. Yes, you have chrono chronological. Thank you, Teddy Lobo. Yes, and what is that? According to the boxes from the puzzle, you have to... You have two words here with a dash. Okay. You have your answers already. Yeah, that's your clue that is chronological. So when something or a text that shows procedure or process, or it tells you step by step or chronological order, what is that? Okay, we have... a. A correct answer here from Angel Julian, Martin, and Shimazen. Let's reveal the answer. That's right. The correct answer is time order. Very good. One point. Now let's proceed to the second one. Okay, be ready for the answer. Okay, you have your clue there. You have letter R. <laughs> okay, the same instruction. Identify what text type is this. And you can base your answer from the given boxes in the puzzle. But Tipot was a very popular children TV show in the 80s. Yes, I'm very familiar with this. Children loved it, especially because of its unforgettable characters. I mean characters, which include Pong Pagong, Kikong Maching, Koya Derms, Nolidi Casio, Irma Daldal, Manang Bola, and the curious aliens named Centurion and Ali Bang Bang. Okay, who's familiar with this one? But Tibot. Okay, now it's your time to answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, the characters here are presented. Characters. So one, two, three. So what is this? And you have a given letter, R. What's the answer for this? Okay, let's go. Oh, you have your answers already? Okay, so if you have letter R and you have how many letters you have there? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, we have one correct answer or two now. Okay, for number two, we have Maria, Johnny Hill, Steven, Shima, and Faye. Let's reveal. The correct answer is enumeration. A big round of applause. Okay, I'll give you a smiley later on. Okay, let's proceed. How about this one? Why is vitamin C important to the body? People have seen that those who eat a lot of fruits that are rich in vitamin C are healthier and seldom get sick to those who do not eat them. This is because vitamin C makes the immune system stronger and protects the body against many diseases. Okay, why? Is vitamin C important to the body? Okay, so what is that? You have the given letter T and we have the answer already. Yes, that's correct. Explanation. That's right. Okay, now let's proceed to another one. Okay, this one. Foods can be classified into three groups based on how they function in the body. These are go foods, grow foods, and glow foods. Okay? Go foods provide our body with energy so we can move and work, right? When you are in grade one, you already know that. An example of this is rice. 
Okay. Grow foods, on the other hand, allow our bodies to build muscles and fats and repair the tissues. Eggs and meat are good examples in this type. The third type, glow foods, right? Go, grow, glow. Help protect the body against diseases and keep it healthy. You have fruits and vegetables, which are rich in nutrients, belong to grow foods, okay? You have three kinds there, okay? So the answer is number four, we have kla. Okay, congratulations, you have classification, all right? So you have been very alert. Wow, that's very good. Congratulations, very good, very good. Now let's proceed to activity two. Wow, very good, Faye, Martin, Shania, and a very good participation in this afternoon, okay? This one, activity two, identify the text type in each paragraph. Okay, now look closer for the clues or signal words. Okay, check, check. Let's go. What type of text does the paragraph show? Okay, you have four. Again, classification, enumeration, explanation, time, order. Oh, thank you so much, Martin. Okay, very good. So I know you have been very, very smart. Now, let's have this activity two, one and two. Let's identify. A plant is made up of different parts. The three main parts are the roots, the leaves, and the stem. Each part has a set of jobs to do to keep the plant healthy. Okay, you can read together with teacher. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and anchor the plant in the ground. What's your answer? Okay. Next, number two. Okay, we can reveal the answer afterwards. We will have to find the clues first. Okay, next is chocolate most commonly comes in dark or bottom, milk, middle, and white on top varieties like cocoa solids contributing to the brown coloration. Other kinds of chocolates are the following. We have Swiss milk chocolate. Yeah, I love chocolates. And dark chocolate. CMC chocolate chips, tempered coverture chocolate, and a white chocolate bar. Okay, so let's find out. Okay. You have enumeration for number one. And yes, this is your clue right here. So three parts, the roots, the leaves, and the stem. Okay, don't worry. You can check afterwards. Yeah, most of your answer is explanation, right? Yeah, I know because we are talking about plants. But... Then, it mentioned the parts of the plants. Okay, now let's proceed to number two. What should be the answer? You have dark bottom, like this one, milk, a white top, and the Swiss chocolate milk. Okay, so the answer is... Okay. Your answer is enumeration for one and two. Okay, so it listed down some uh, examples like sweet milk, chocolate, dark chocolate. Okay, now let's have to this one. So what type of text is this? Chocolate cakes are one of the most favorite desserts. Here is how to make, okay? You have procedure here. Okay, so here is how to make a chocolate cake. First, sieve all-purpose flour with a pinch of salt and cocoa powder. Next is in a cup of water, put lemon juice with baking soda. In a bowl, mix all-purpose flour, oil or white butter and sugar with the water, to which you have added lemon juice and baking soda, okay? 
I know you're thinking and imagining. Okay, let's try to cook it. Beat well. So if you find a mixture too thick, add two to three tablespoons of warm milk. And then finally, microwave in an ungreased dish for five to six minutes. Serve it with vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup or the toppings of your choice. What's your answer here okay so you have a clue here and how to make a chocolate cake signal words first next finally okay i know you can do this okay we have an answer already let's reveal okay that's correct very good now give me a thumbs up if you made it correctly okay this is the Topic is all about how to make a chocolate cake. So your signal words are first, next, and finally. Wow, congratulations. So al almost all of you got it correctly. Very good, Martin. Okay, keep answering. Now, let's have this one. Earthquakes are divided into six classes of which are in the weak, two moderate, and the three... And the other three are in the strong to great. Okay, the first group can cause none to minor damages for properties and infrastructures. The latter group can cause greater damage to properties and may even result in accidents and deaths among people. Okay, it's about earthquakes. And your clues here. Six classes, three weak to moderate, and three in a strong to great. What is that? Okay, let's find the clue and reveal the answer. Here we go. Yes, that's right, Angel, Shima. Okay, the answer is classification. And why? Because you have this one. Yeah, mentioned earlier by Tudor Joni. There you go, okay? Very good. Now let's have another text type. What causes rain? Rain clouds. What causes rain? And then clouds are made of water droplets. Within a cloud, water droplets condense onto one another, causing the droplets to grow. When these water droplets get too heavy to stay suspended in the cloud, they fall to earth as rain. What is this? Yeah, it's about rain, right? Okay, so the main topic or our topic here is the cause of the rain. Causes. Causes of the rain. Okay, you might be confused here, but yeah, try to check what it explains here in our text. Rain and how. Okay, the answer is very good. You got it right. So I'll give you a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. That's very good of you. So you have explanation because you have is what causes rain and you also have water droplets get too heavy to stay suspended in the cloud they fall earth as rain okay that's right now here so when we say text size again okay let me hear you when you say text size there are any pieces of writing that you read and create am i right Yes. And right here, they can be anything from what you read, right? So you have novels, newspaper, textbooks, recipes, <laughs> movies, or you have movie reviews, and you have from the games Monopoly. And instructions. Yes, that's right. So 
when you read an advertisement, an email from a friend, or a research article, I mean article, for example, the kinds of words, phrases, grammatical patterns, writing styles, and structures you encounter differ. So in other words, text types differ in features and purposes. Okay? So different. So when you watch, when you read, yes, thank you, Maria Janihel. Yeah, text types have different purposes. It could be classifying, explaining, and giving you steps or procedures. Okay, and also they have different features. Okay, we have here. Okay, the four most commonly used text types, right? So first is classification. So four types. So first is classification text. The writer presents the overall idea, then splits into parts to provide clarity and description. Okay, number two, we have explanation. The writer provides descriptions to looking at things like causes and reasons or the why and how of what happened. And your favorite, <laughs> enumeration, number three. The writer presents ideas by listing the kinds, characteristics, classes, types, ways, groups, right, etc., or characters. Mentioned in the story. Yes, Paul. Yes. And four, this is an easy one. You can say it's time order when the writer presents events that are arranged in their order of occurrence in time. So when you sing a story to your friend, like, at first, I wake up early. So you're stating the, the sequence of what happened to you. You're giving your friend a story of what you have scene from the movie then you have the time order so that your friend can understand your story it should be in like chronological order or step by step one by one or if something is cooking and you have to give them the instruction and how to cook the putu cheese from last week or how to uh, bake a chocolate cake right so you have there the four most commonly used text types. Am I right? So, you are very much ready. I know. Very ready for our next activity, okay? So, I want you to take a look at there. Last chance for the descriptions of the four commonly, text, commonly used text types over there. Again, classification, explanation, enumeration, and time order. So let's proceed to activity three. Ready? Okay. Ready. So let's go. Three, two, one. Activity three. Here we go. Complete the table by placing uh, by placing in the appropriate column, the text listed in the box right there. So use the number only. So first box, you can see their classification, followed by enumeration, third is explanation, and in time order at the last. So you can put the number there. If you think number one is four enumeration, you can write numbers there. One or number two, like that. Okay. So, one, how climate affects the environment. Okay, that's the title. Number two, an embarrassing moment. And three, types of orchids. Four, the academic strand subjects. And five, kinds of musical instruments. Okay, go. Kind of list the numbers in the box. What type of text? Are these examples identify? Okay, for one, where is number one? You can put number one in the how climate affects the environment. Hmm. It says how, so you have to give the reason why. So number one is 
time is it? Is that a question or an answer? Okay, for this one. Okay, so you have your answers, Angel. So how climate affects the environment? So you can imagine or you can already think what is inside your text based from its title. So one is, of course, ta -da! here, <laughs> here you go. Congratulations. Number one is explanation. That's right. Because you're giving to have the reason and the answer and explain how, right? When you say how, you say this because that. You will have because. Number two, where are you going to put number two? Which box? Classification, enumeration, explanation, or time order? An embarrassing moment. My embarrassing moment. Where? 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 Mm -hmm. When you are stating your experience how it happened first and then what happened to you something then and then next like that so you are telling telling your friends your story of your moment your story or the story of your embarrassing moment to your friend Okay, so we already have an answer. Yeah, I'll explain why in a, in a while. So we have, okay, you can say enumeration if you're going to have the list of embarrassing moments. So many, you have many moments there. But if this is only one, then you have to have this one. Okay, time order. Yes, because at first, what is that? Um, I went to a shopping mall and then I thought I knew somebody. So I called that person because I thought she is my friend. Then when I called that somebody and then when she looked at me, <gasps> She's not the one that I expected to be. <laughs> She's not my friend. So you have been embarrassed. So the sequence of the story must be in time order so that your friend can understand or can follow your situation, your, follow your time, your event. Okay, next one is the types of orchids. All right, so many types of orchids. Yes, I think this is an easy one. The answer is, yay, correct. So all, all of you get it correctly. That is three classification. And how about number four, the academic strength subjects. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have. What is that? Yeah, the tech book. You also have the academic. Oh, it says here academic strand. So both have to different one and then in academic stream you have humes okay you have general so we can have number four but you have to only one there's academic strand only and then you have to give many options for the student to choose from so that is, yeah, enumeration. And the last one, we have the kinds of musical instruments. Yes, this one. So name any kinds of instruments. We have many kinds. Yeah, this easy one. So you will have, yeah, it could be enumeration, but then it's more on like string, right? String instruments. You have percussion instruments. So 
it has different groups according to its uh, physical type or how it functions or purpose like that so number five is yeah that's right classification wow so you have martin thank you so much for the answer and maria janihel yes congratulations so you have different kinds of text types okay so now another one is here so read the text and complete the table that follows the first thing i do when i walk my dog is put on its comfortable leash then okay remember my signal words or yes then we walk out the door after settling down all the necessary things that we need next i decide the route to take from one place to another finally we spend the time walking together how the details are arranged and the transition words used okay so type of text you have time order here and time or chronological order of course and also you have the signal words first then after next finally that's right and right here we are almost done we are in the ending part so for the assignment i know you are very much excited so you can send your assignment to a messenger account facebook to Joni for Gokilia, or you can find yeah tutor Joni and tutor emmy rest so for your assignment i want you to gather some clippings showing examples of the four different text types i know you have there in your house paste this on a sheet of paper then label them with the correct text type and send it to yes me tutor Joni or tutor emmy yes can you find my facebook so you can tag me along if you want to post your uh, assignment okay thank you lian gala yes she responded to assignment very good yes also shaima yes this is your assignment and here we are let's wrap up so four text types of course, let me hear you. E, enumeration. E, explanation. C, classification. And T, time order. Right? Very good. It's okay. So, four hour ending. Yes. So I want you to give me a high five for grade five. Congratulations. Now, I will give you this one. right there well done for me i'm tutor joni and your other tutor is also tutor emmy so this is our facebook account joni for Kukilia and emily kubing right so if you have some questions you you feel free to message yes in messenger thank you so much yes of course martin my pleasure and we can also have this one feedback form you can inform your guardian or your parents to use this one for the feedbacking suggestions and comments also so here we are it's tuesday and you choose this day <laughs> thank you thank you rinpo so for all the advices out there watching this is me again and once again I'm Tutor Joni, and on behalf of my co-tutor, Tutor Emmy, my partner, yes, every 3.40 to 4.20 p.m. every Tuesday. <laughs> yes, you can watch us here, and you know our time slot already. You are very much familiar with grade 5, and all the other grade levels are also welcome to learn with us every afternoon yes and thank you thank you so stay tuned for our next uh level the english five tutors thank you very much thank you thank you 
拜拜。Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!